Hello and welcome back to the Flaxman's YouTube channel, where we provide insurance information and advice for businesses and consumers. Within this video, I will be providing a basic guide to insurance for businesses. My name is Eleanor Appleton from Flaxman's. We don't sell insurance, but we provide solutions for when things go wrong. This is part one of a two part series on basic insurance information for business owners. So, you're thinking about starting your own business, or maybe you've been a business owner for some time, and you're great at what you do. You deliver outstanding products and services. However, are you still unsure about your insurance? Are you fully covered? Have you got the right insurance for your needs? Or do you feel like, actually, I don't think I need insurance at all? So often we hear things like, Insurers don't pay out on their claims. I'm careful not to have an accident. It's too expensive anyway. The list is endless. And so often people don't even feel like they need insurance cover. Insurance is universally recognised as a necessary evil. But if the COVID crisis has taught us anything, it's that businesses cannot survive an interruption to their cash flow without help from a third party. So why do you need insurance? This really should go without saying, but when something goes wrong or fails, collapses, is lost, damaged or stolen, it's usually at the most inconvenient times, if there ever is a convenient time for such a calamity. And few people or businesses have the financial resources tucked away in a savings account or under the bed to return things to normal. Money, in particular cash, is vital to the survival of a business after such a serious event. Insurance provides that financial resource, as well as very often the expertise to aid recovery. So what insurance do you need? Well, this depends very much on what industry you work in. If you sell products or services, if you have premises, stock, equipment, computers, the list goes on and on. Legally, if you employ staff, by law, you must have employer's liability. This will protect you if a staff member claims that they have suffered in any way due to working for you. Do not bypass this one. If you are unprotected, you could be fined up to £2,500 per day. Public liability insurance is not mandatory. But depending on your personal circumstances, your business and the sector in which you operate in, public liability insurance may be required. It protects you against claims made against you by the general public. So if you own a shop, hold events or have any customer facing interaction, it may be something that is worth considering. Find out what the specific requirements of your legal structure is and then get cover if needed. Contents and portable equipment insurance. This covers anything that you rely on to run your business, from stationary to stock. Portable equipment insurance cover covers anything that you take out with you to a job or a meeting, such as a laptop, a phone or a camera, for example. Professional indemnity insurance. This is specifically for businesses that offer services and advice and covers you if your services and advice lead to clients suffering a financial loss in any way. Some clients will insist that you have this in place before they sign your contract. Directors and Officers Liability Insurance. This is for the founders and directors of the company against claims against them personally, from anything from health and safety law to financial errors. Warning, not all policies cover you for insolvency, so look for one that does, especially if you are a startup. Cyber liability. This is one of the biggest risks that is facing businesses at this moment. Watch our video on cyber liability. It is in the description below this video. So how and where do you buy your insurance? Well, the insurance industry is regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority, the FCA, and within their regulations is the obligation for insurance brokers to ascertain the needs and demands of their customer. 
This means finding out about your insurance requirements, your business affairs, and the risks that you ought to be insured against, and matching that up with policies that meet those needs. You cannot do this for yourself online because simply insufficient information is provided. The British Insurance Broker Association, or BEBA, is the most useful resource in the UK to find you a broker. It's free to use and sign up as a consumer, and I will include the link to the website within the description below. Well, there you have it. Flaxman's short guide to what insurance you need for your business. If you like this video, then don't forget to subscribe to the Flaxman's YouTube channel. And if you're new to the channel, do leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching.